Hello everybody, uh, welcome to our service of evening prayers and for this service uh, all you will need is up on the screen. Now uh, this is a responsory service and so when I say the light words uh, you will respond with the bold ones. So I will say the light ones and you will respond with the bold ones. So let's just have a moment of silence and come before God in prayers. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us blessed are you lord god creator of day and night to you be praise and glory forever as the darkness falls you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence by the light of christ your living word Dispel the darkness of our hearts, that we may walk as children of light and sing your praise throughout the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. that this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayers rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever amen my dear friends our psalm for this evening is taken from psalm 47 clap your hands together all you peoples oh sing to god with shouts of joy for the lord most high is to be feared he is the great king over all the earth he subdued the people under us and the nations under our feet he has chosen our heritage for us the pride of jacob whom he loves god has gone up with a merry noise the lord with the sound of the trumpet O oh, sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our King, sing praises. For God is King of all the earth. Sing praises with all your skill. God reigns over the nations. God has taken his seat upon his holy throne. The nobles of the peoples are gathered together with the people of God of Abraham. For the powers of the earth belongs to God and he is very highly exalted. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. My dear friends, our Old Testament reading this evening is from 2 Chronicles chapter 2, verses 1 to 16. Solomon decided to build a temple for the name of the Lord, a royal palace for himself. 
Solomon Solomon decided to build a temple for the name of the Lord and a royal palace for himself. Solomon conscripted 70,000 laborers and 80,000 stone cutters in the hill country with 3,600 to oversee them. Solomon sent a word to the king Huran of Tai. Once you dealt with my father David and sent him Sida to build himself a house to live in. I am now about to build a house for the name of the Lord my God and dedicate it to him for an offering fragrant incense before him and for the regular offerings of the rolls of bread and of burnt offerings morning and evening on the Sabbath and the new moon and the appointed festivals of the Lord our God as ordained forever for Israel. The house that I'm about to build will be great for our God is greater than other gods. But who is able to build him a house since heaven, even highest heaven, cannot contain him? Who am I to build a house for him except as a palace to make offering before him? So now send me an artisan skilled to work in gold, silver, bronze and iron and in purple chrism and blue fabrics trained also in engraving to join the skilled workers who are with me in Judah and Jerusalem, whom my father David provided. Send me also cedar, cypress, and argum, timber from Lebanon. For I know that your servants are skilled in cutting Lebanon timber. My servant will work with your servant to prepare timber for me in abundance for the house I'm about to build will be great and wonderful. I will provide for your servants, those who cut the timber, 20,000 cores of crushed wheat, 20,000 cores of barley, 20,000 baths of wine, and 20,000 baths of oil. Then King Haran of Tidon answered, in a letter that he sent to Solomon. Because the Lord loves his people, he has made you king over them. Haran also said, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who has made heaven and earth, who has given King David a wise son, endowed with discretion and understanding, who will build a temple for the Lord, and a royal palace for himself. I have dispatched Haron Abi, a skilled artisan, endowed with understanding, the son of one of the Denite women. His father is Tyran. He is trained to work in gold, silver, bronze, iron, stone, wood, and in purple, blue, and crimson fabrics, and fine linen, and to do all sorts of engraving and execute any design that may be assigned to him with your artisans, the artisans of my Lord, your father David. Now, as for the wheat, barley, oil, and wine of which my Lord has spoken, let him send them to his servant. We will cut whatever timber you need from Lebanon and bring it to you as rift by sea to Joppa. You will take it up to Jerusalem. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear friends, a wonderful reading from the 
a second book of Chronicles, chapter 2, verses 1 to 16. And Solomon is just preparing to build a temple for God. And he sent his servant to go to his friend, a nearby king, to ask for some of the materials that he will need to build the temple. And because the king was in very good terms with Solomon's father, David, and the king decides to send him the materials and also with uh, a skillful artisan uh, who will help uh, design and build the temple for Solomon. Our next reading in the New Testament is John chapter 17, reading from verses 1. After Jesus had spoken these words, he looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, so that the Son may glorify you, since you have given him authority over all people, to give eternal life to all whom you have given to him. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I have glorified you on earth by finishing the works that you gave me to do. So now, Father, glorify me in your own presence with the glory that I had in your presence before the world exists. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. My dear friends, if you are listening to me uh, this evening, and you don't know Jesus Christ. Uh, we have been given a gift tonight. And the gift is this. In John chapter 17 verses 1 to 5. And it says. And this is eternal life. That they may know you. The one and only through God. And Jesus Christ. Whom you have sent. So there are two things going on here. If you want to have eternal life, then you need to know God. And how do you do that? You are able to know God through Jesus Christ. In my line of ministry, I bury a lot of people. And sometimes when I'm taking the funerals, uh, the family members of those who are being buried want to be sure that their loved one who have died is going to be with the Lord and more often than not my answer to them is that well I don't know because I don't know what they did or whether or not they made their peace with God before they died but what I know for sure is that you that are standing in front of me are you ready to give your life to Jesus are you ready to know God because that is eternal life Eternal life is that you may know the one and only through God and Jesus Christ whom he sent. So if you struggle to believe in God, if you don't know Jesus Christ, tonight God is saying to you that this is eternal life, that you may know the one and only through God and Jesus Christ whom he sent. If you're wondering how you can do all of that, well, it's simple. If you want to take the step and believe, give your life to Jesus, then say this simple prayer after me. Lord Jesus, thank you for sending your son Jesus Christ to die for us. I Believe in my heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. And I declare with my mouth that you raise him from the dead. Come into my life. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Write my name in the book of life in heaven transform my life and grant me eternal life 
Thank you, Jesus, for coming into my life today. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. If you said those prayers with me, you are now a Christian, a child of God. Uh, you may want to visit your local church and speak to the local clergy there and they will help you do the rest. Probably the next step may be a short course in Christian studies and then come to baptism. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your path. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And be not wise in your own sight. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lonely servant from this day forth. All generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great thing for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown his strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lonely. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Uh, this is the time where we pray for everybody so i'm just going to pray for all of us now if you want me to pray for you in any particular way then you may want to send me your prayer request uh in the comment section below uh, do subscribe to the channel and send in your prayer request let us pray heavenly father we thank you for this evening we thank you for taking us through the busyness of this day. We pray that you look after us this evening, our friends and family members, wherever they are. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Almighty God, we pray for the ministry of your church and we pray that you will equip and inspire your ministers of the gospel that we may boldly proclaim your good news, transform life, and draw more people to your kingdom, bringing glory to your name. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Heavenly Father, we pray for the nations of the world. We pray for governments. We pray for the current situation with Russia and Ukraine. We pray that there may be peace in that region we pray for uh, our prime minister here in the united kingdom pray for all members of parliament we pray that there will be integrity wisdom there will be equity in working for the common good among our politicians lord in your mercy hear our prayers Heavenly Father, we pray for those who are sick or are in pain or those who are in isolation. In their loneliness, be their consolation. In their anxiety, be their hope. In their darkness, be their light. Through Jesus Christ who died for us, but reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Heavenly Father, we pray for all those who have died in the faith of Christ. We pray for families who are grieving for the loss of their loved ones, that you will strengthen them in this time of grief, give them hope, 
and grace help them to make sense of their loss and grant them your eternal rest and so father surrounded with all the prayers of the saints i commend the whole human family into your loving care merciful father accept these prayers for the sake of your son our savior jesus christ amen when i finish praying for everybody we normally say the lord's prayer together and so let's say the lord's prayer together in the traditional format our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses so we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen my dear friends well we are coming to the conclusion of our service we only have uh, the final prayers and the final blessing to go but this is where i normally introduce myself to people uh, if you don't know me and this is your first time here uh, my name is reverend captain kinsley yeboa i'm a clerk in holy orders in other words i'm a parish priest in the church of england i'm also a military chaplain you can see my military uniform uh, behind me i serve uh, british soldiers as a chaplain uh, do subscribe to our channel and use these prayer resources uh, whenever wherever and any time that you want let it be a blessing to you and share uh, these prayer resources with your friends and family members welcome to our family join the uh, family of god subscribe and press the notification bell so when we put a new content like this uh, youtube will let you know let's just have our final prayers and the final blessing lord of all life who gave to your servant jesus christ the gift of tongues to proclaim the gospel make your whole church one as you are one that all christians may honor one another and east and west acknowledge one lord one faith one baptism and you the god and father of all through jesus christ your son who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god now and forever amen my dear friends uh, may the lord bless you and keep you may the lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you may the lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace may the blessing of god almighty the father the son and of the holy spirit be among you and remain with you now and always amen go in peace to love and serve the lord in the name of christ amen i shall see you soon shalom peace <laughs>